What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Black China bringing y'all another options um, video. Uh, our plays for last week. We're gonna do a recap, and then we're gonna give you the plays that we're gonna be in this week. Um, last week was bad. Last week was bad. I lost money. I lost a lot of money, and I'm on the trend to lose a lot more money um, this week. Um, basically I, i'm probably gonna gain some but because of the loss losses it's basically going i will still be down all right so um let's let's go into the place that we had last week and then uh we'll get into it so here we go ah uh, here we go boys and girls so here's the place that we had for last week i bought this lucid put a couple weeks ago and i was holding on to it um lucid dropped to the point of, of like 38 dollars last week friday before the the market opened and then right before the market opened let me see if i can um let me see if i can pull it up for y'all all right so last last week it dropped down to 39 something right there right and then I'm waiting for it to sell it because, you know, I'll be up. I'd basically be basically be breaking even with this uh, put. And, I, uh, you know, it expired on today, on that day. That was last week, Friday. All right. So we were waiting for the market to be open. And then the last 20 minutes, it just shot up. And then I tried to I try to wait it out to see if it was going to fall back down. And then it basically didn't, so I sold it for two dollars. <laughs> I I basically I basically sold it for two dollars. So I basically lost two hundred and it filled at I, I think it filled at like two eighty or or yeah two eighty. So I lost two hundred and something dollars right there. All right, and then uh, the other play, the other play that we're in, we were trying to play um, J P Morgan. Which we paid it. It filled at 180. I remember it filled at 180 um, for that one. And right now, right here, it's sitting at nine dollars fifty. So we are down big, big, big for last week. All right, but also we are, we trade on Robinhood. We do options on Robinhood, and we got into a lucid put later uh, last week. So it was later we got in in it from um, before the one that we got into. All right. So this one is up twenty three dollars right now, and Lucid right now in the pre market. I want to say it's down a couple percent right now. Forty one twenty four. It's going back up. It was down to forty something. So it's now eight o'clock in the morning. It is it is going back up so i'm not i'm not man i hope this thing crashes back again because this contract expires this friday also this neo call i've been in since december 3rd of last year all right i ended up with i tried to average down and i ended up with 12 contracts right now so i am hoping neo runs up just a little bit so i can sell this and you know take my losses on that one you know this was the first play that i got into don't ever marry your plays all right Make sure you get in, get up, get up, get in, and get out. All right. Um, but here are some of the ones that we're looking at for this week. All right. BBIG. There. You know. You remember the short squeeze for uh, for AMC and GameStop? It might. They might try to do some stupid crap like that. It's already up forty three percent. It's already up forty three percent in the last day, last two days. So fifteen percent. And then in the aftermarket, it went up another 12%. So look for this one. I, I'm probably try. I'm probably gonna try to get into a call on this one just to see how it goes. Um, but it, it it looks great. It looks great. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. I hope it does like a GameStop thing where it just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. You know, I'm that's what I'm hoping. Um, the other one also that um, we're looking at in the watch list. And if you don't know, we check these out on the watch list because our portfolio is not very big so we get into the we get them into the robin hood watch list so it can track the progress so we can see what the plays that we're looking at if they actually go up or down without actually spending our money so that's pretty good and then um etsy has been beaten down a lot so i'm hoping that it bounce off this support line and just bounce back up that's what i'm i'm hoping right now but you know we'll see 
we'll see. As I said, it's just in the watch list, so I'm not really risking any money on it. I don't have any money to risk on it because my money is in the other plays. Um, but the the what what I did right, I always buy whenever I make a profit on my option plays, which I've made a you know a decent amount of profit on my option plays. And what I do, I buy stocks. I have only invested a hundred dollars off my money on Weeble. Right. And then I invite people and I get the free stocks. I got a free a free share of Apple. I got a couple of free um, of the four dollar, five dollar stock and I sold all of it. And it was a couple hundred dollars and I was using that. Um, I think I'm I'm think I'm in it about about three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks um, of free money that I that I used. And what I did, I bought, as you can see these, I bought um fractional shares of other stocks right every time i made a profit i made a profit i, I bought 25 dollars of microsoft uh i bought 25 dollars of nvidia i bought 50 dollars in square i mean there might be going down right now um some of them going down some of them going up but it's building my pillars um as i go along and i didn't want to lose all my money if i failed in the options because i'm brand new to it um, I am not a financial advisor, so please do not follow on the plays that I'm doing. I'm just doing it strictly for documentation of my journey of 2022 and educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, so do not follow what I'm doing. I bought I bought fifty something fifty dollars of uh, Facebook, Disney. Um, these one that I was buying at first, they were um, dividend stocks. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was just buying div random dividend stocks um, that pays a good dividend. Um, I don't even know if they're still paying dividends, to be honest. Uh, that's when I just started, and th that's what I ended up with. So this adds up uh, $271 at the time that I added it up, which was about 30 minutes ago. So I'm, I'm really down a hundred and something dollars right now. If I could get this J, um, JP Morgan to go up a little bit so I can sell it and not lose so much um, on it, you know, I'll be all right. But you know, this, this is a learning experience. I love the journey that I'm on right now. I'm investing in Publix and I'm investing in Mumu. I'm doing all I'm doing all my growth plays on Mumu and I'm doing all my core plays on Publix. Uh, core plays meaning Apple, Tesla, Facebook, Disney, Nvidia, Square, Microsoft, and all of that. I'm putting a hundred dollars a week in those plays on Publix. I'm also buying fifty dollars worth of Ethereum on BlockFi, which they give you I think five percent APY. So shoot, why not? Um, and then I'm doing also a hundred dollars in Mumu where I'm buying stocks like DraftKings, um, ChargePoint, um, um, SoFi, uh, Palantir and all that kind of growth stocks. So two of them, you know, a hundred dollars a week on each of those, you know, it, it, it's a lot more than I was ever doing. So hopefully 2022 will have a whole bunch of growth uh thank you guys for coming on the journey hopefully by the end of the year we can show you guys a whole bunch of growth and money all right thank you guys for coming along on this journey um so make sure you smash the like button make sure you sub into the channel um also the TikTok, discord and all my links um weeble robin hood block fi moo every link will be in the description below if y'all want to grab some free stocks just by um just by uh, funding, opening up a free brokerage account and funding it, usually it's a hundred dollars you got to put into it, but you get free stocks um, in there. So you know, invest in your future. All right. Thank you everybody for watching. Let's get this growth on. All right. Peace.